Well, it's the film that introduces to a world of pure imagination. But the response is phenomenal. Wonka bars are beginning to disappear from candy store shelves. It was every child's dream to score a golden ticket to Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. There is no life I know to compare with your imagination. The lucky winners were Charlie Bucket, Mike TV, Augustus Gloob, Violet Beauregard and Veruca Salt. I'm Veruca Salt. My dear Veruca, what a pleasure. And how pretty you look in that lovely mink coat. I've got three others at home. Julie Dawn Cole was the child star that brought the bratty character to life. I want the whole world. I want to lock it all up in my pocket. It's 52 years after the original Wonka, the quirky candy maker returns for another reboot with Timothy Chalamet stepping up to play the iconic role. And we are totally delighted to say Julie Dawn Cole, a.k.a. Veruca Salt, joins us live from Hampshire in the UK. Good morning to you, Julie, there. with your little friend in the background. Yeah, I, I did a little bit of set dressing for you, yeah. <laughs> we appreciate it. just that. likes to keep an eye on things, Mr Wonka. Bob. Always good to keep him close. Um, tell us about how you landed the role back then. Um, I was at uh, theatre school in London and I'd been in a production of Peter Pan over the Christmas period and I'd been going up for a few other things, never got them. You know, I'd get to the kind of, you know, stage where they'd say, what have you been in? And I would say nothing because I was a beginner. Um, and they would say thank you and goodbye. So this time when I got shortlisted for Willy Wonka and they said, what have you been in? I lied. I made up a bunch of stuff <laughs> that I'd never been in. And there's a lesson and for kids that out is there. A, that is a good lesson for kids out there. Uh, so you were 12 years old when you got to work with your mate Wonka there, Gene Wilder, who is a comedy icon, a, a screen legend. What was it like working with him on set? Was he kind to the kids or did he keep his distance like Wonka did? No, he was incredibly kind and generous and, you know, mingled. Um, he also very sweetly looked out for me um, because I was the only one of the kids there that didn't have a, a family member with them. You know, my mum had a job in the UK and I had my sister here. And so she stayed behind and I had a chaperone stroke tutor. And when Jean discovered that kind of two weeks into the filming, that I was the only kid that didn't have a family member, he, he took all the adults on one side. I was told this by Rusty Goff, who played one of the Olympus recently and he said boys we've got to keep, take care of her mm, wow. what a sweet you life. know the whole film is iconic isn't it how, how did that role change your life well, I'm still talking to you about it yeah. 52 years later, so that's, that's an answer in itself, isn't it? Yes, it did change my life. Um, but maybe not as we thought at the time immediately, because it was a, it's been a slow burn um, at the box office. It wasn't a success when it came out. It was, um, it was not popular. It came and went, and that was how mm. movies were, and you judged the success of a movie by how long it, it ran, and it didn't run for very long, but it was the advent of um, V. VHS and showing it in the in, particularly in America on the holidays and it then became an event and, and I know in Australia too you know that people would say if it was on TV you know we would it was Christmas or whenever mm. Easter or something you would stop and watch it as a family but well, my kids still stop and watch it as a family and I have a daughter who thinks she's Veruca and <laughs> that song oh, you yeah. know that 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 Leslie Bricker's Anthony Newley song is so iconic when you heard your song and you started to sing it did it feel like you were seeing something special? I mean, I mean, I know you were just a kid at the time, but it's an amazing song. I, I think I've only really got to appreciate it as I've got older. You know, as a kid, you get told this is what you're singing and you do it to the best of your ability. Mm. And when I first was cast in it, they weren't sure whether I was going to do the singing myself or it was going to be dubbed. And then I learnt the song and went to sing it for the musical director, Walter Scharf, at his hotel in London, and he went... Yeah, I think you can do it. And that was it. <laughs> wow. So, the rest is history. Um, but it, Great song. Yeah, now I realise it's actually quite a tricky song to sing. Yeah. Oh, it's really tough. Yeah. 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 Um, you have since released a memoir about your time on the show and you've also, interestingly, pivoted into a career in psychology. What prompted that yeah. career move for you? Gosh, um, I think just wanting to do something 
that was more definitive about giving back. You know, I'd had a great career. I'd done everything that I wanted to do. I'd, I'd travelled, um, you know, worked all over the world, but I wanted to do something else that was a little bit deeper and more meaningful. So mm. I, I trained as a therapist and that is what I'm still doing. Um, so, yeah, I work for um, a uh, counselling um uh, kidney patients um, and supporting kidney patients in renal failure and their families. Wow. That's amazing. But let me, let's bring your therapist brain and your showbiz brain to this question because now that you're here, we want to ask this. There's obviously a lot of talk at the moment about Roald Dahl and his books. Uh, some of them, including, you know, the Twits and Willy Wonka, uh, they're going to remove offensive language. What What is your... Yeah. Not, not your instinct of trying to protect, you know, the movie, but just the overall sense of, like, is this a good idea? I think it's a very difficult thing to do um, and we can't airbrush history. This is what Roald Dahl wrote back then. Whether he would write it now is another matter. And it's not, as we would say now, politically correct. But you can't remove it. There are hundreds of copies out on the bookshelves. What are you going to do? Remove them all? Mm -hmm. And then also, even if you do take the words out, which I know has been spoken about, so I believe now that they're doing some with and some without, um, you you mess with the rhythm of the thing. You mess with the, the humour, mm. you know, and, and you're also leaving the illustrations there. So you, you, know, you might take the word fat out, which was what they referred to with Augustus Gloop, and he's now, well, they were talking about just saying he's enormous. Isn't that still worse? Isn't that worse? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that worse? I know. Yeah. That's, it's a very and difficult think, thing to navigate, isn't it? It is. And there are so many books and things that we would say are slightly unsavoury now. You know, look at Oliver Twist, you know, mm. it was child trafficking, um, you yeah. know, and it was a domestic abuse relationship with yeah. Nancy and Bill Sykes. Yeah, that's you true. Know, all yeah. of these things are not very nice. You know, um, the water babies, they put kids up the chimneys. You know, we don't do that anymore either. Yeah. So I think, you know, as a parent, I'm a grandmother now. I'm a grandmother of two little girls. If there are bits that when I'm reading, I think, eh, that's a bit tricky then I might either omit the words myself and just yeah. censor myself as I do my, my granddaughter makes me turn over the scary pages in Lion King she doesn't like yeah, them fair enough Some of them. she doesn't like the hyenas so we have to skip that bit um so you just kind of censor it yourselves you know I used to make my mother turn over the page in Water Babies for Mrs Do as you would be done yeah. by I was she was terrified Maleficent scared me so we would skip those That's pages we're, ca we're capable um, of self-censoring hey very quickly I'd love to know if you're interested in seeing the much-anticipated reboot of Willy Wonka starring Timothy Chalamet. What do you think about this? I will be there. I will watch it. I will be interested because I'm curious to see how they're, they're going to manage, you know, the, the prequel side of it, of how he finds the Oompa Loompas. I don't know. Yeah. Your guess is as good as mine. I know nothing, <laughs> but I will see it. Great. Well, look, thank you for bringing your friend Jean along, and it's great to see Lovely you Lovely chatting Julia. to you. Take care. Thank you. See you soon. Still ahead on to Extra, why Aussie families are undergoing IVF, are pleading for early access to their super. Plus, Michael Clem opens up about his toughest battle yet. The Olympic swimming legend is live next. And the Korean game show they're calling the Real Life Squid Game. I'm obsessed with this. We've got the review coming up on Today Extra.